I just, honestly, I've got so much admiration for Roy Keane. And, it's, and even, even now, I have to say, you know, we, we're, in a, we're in a World Cup together. And, like, we spent a lot of time together. And, you know, I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm, we're, we're really cool mates and it's fine. And I remember there's one time I said, Roy, we'd go for lunch because we had breakfast, then we'd go for lunch. And then he said, OK, righty, I'll see you at 1.15. I said, no problem, I've just got to do some stuff. Al, remember we was doing stuff, Al. When we was at the World yep. Cup, so I had to come and do that. And I said, I got there, it must have been 117 maximum. And I was waiting down there, and I, then I thought, where is he? And I phoned him up and he said, Roy, I'm, I'm in the lobby, what are you doing? He said, righty, what time did we start? I said, 115, I'm just 117. He says, righty, 115 is 115, I'm not coming. And, it's, and I said, <laughs> I laughed, because I thought, <laughs> oh, he's only messing about. So I said, no, it's like, you know. Okay, and he said, righty, I'm not coming. And he hung up the phone, and I never saw him till the evening. And then, as soon as I saw him, um, he done one of those that cheeky smile what he's got, where he says, "No, nah, right, if you, you know, this is why." And he said, "This is why Man United. This is why Man United was so successful. We done what had to be done on time. We done what we needed to do. And that what's made me think with Roy Keane is that to be under him, under his stewardship as a captain." He would take nothing in respect of failure. For me, that is failure. I love that. I love that. I think that's brilliant. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is f unacceptable. <laughs> I agree.